Hello there and welcome to Nerf Quest. Today we are flashing back to the Busby Berserker. Now this blaster was known by a couple names and had multiple variations, some firing missiles, some firing a cluster of six darts. This particular one, as you can see here, power lock connector, that means that you could stick other Busby blasters on this thing, which was an interesting gimmick. And uh, this is a really cool blaster. Now it's a pump action springer. So uh, you pull back and push forward. It fires from the bottom, so uh, some of these darts might be... Oh, that one's not good. That wasn't the blaster. Um, I honestly can't remember if it has slam fire. Let me see. Ooh, it has slam fire. I, I swear it didn't. That's funny. Last time I messed around with it, I must not tested that. That's cool. Now, that is only a uh, part of the blaster. The other part is the air-powered portion of the blaster that can fire a demolisher missile, or of course originally fired these missiles, the Busby rockets, but it'll work with the demolisher missile. So, this uh, air-powered part of the blaster is essentially uh, a Busby big blast, uh, or as the community dubbed them, the 4B. So you give it about five pumps, and then the second trigger is what fires this. So, wow, you get a really nice big pop and the missile goes flying. So this is a really cool part of history. Uh, let's go outside and see how it holds up. All right, here we are outside with the Busby Berserker. It looks very menacing. Uh, now I'm about to chronograph it uh, and I'll put the numbers on the screen. Uh, but the uh, Busby darts I'm using, some of them are cracked, some of them are old. They're all uh, old. Um, so it's not completely fair, they're not brand new. And I'm also using a uh, demolisher missile, which is of course not the original ammo it shipped with. So your mileage may vary, of course. But this is what I have right now, so I'm gonna do the test like this. We have the uh, chronograph fired up. We'll uh, fire some shots over. That's only 35, 39, 37, 39, 35, 37, error, 41, 39. Let's try like a couple in slam fire. Oh, whoops, that hit the chronograph. 25, 35, 38, 30, that dart might have been bad, 24, 35, 37. So, her, that's uh, not great, but remember this originally came out in 2008. I'm actually not sure when this exact version came out, but the, uh, the blaster did come out in 2008 and stopped being sold in uh, 2011. So, you know, maybe that's a bit lower than average. Could be partly due to the older darts. Let's give the missile some pumps. The air-powered portion of the blaster. That's fully pumped. And here goes the missile. 41, which you'd think that's, that's not great. Um, but for uh, a missile like that, the Elite Missiles, the Demolisher gets around 50, 55 maybe. Uh, that's actually pretty impressive because remember the demolisher is a hamp so it doesn't have any kind of trigger this actually is air powered and has a trigger so very very cool again this is an old blaster so it's not going to be the most practical uh, let's just fire a couple just kind of get a feel for it and the combination of being weak with the uh, busby darts really not being the most aerodynamic uh, those are only getting around 20 feet let's give it an angle I'm actually, literally, the angle is not doing anything. Uh, so about 20, 25 feet. Let's do uh, the air powered portion of it. And we're just gonna start out with a steep angle. And that's about, uh, about 40 feet. So in conclusion, while this blaster might not be very practical today, it is a very cool part of history. Do you have one? Do you want one? I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Nerf Flashbacks. Happy nerfing.